Hello everyone, and we have some serious news for you. Ledger has been compromised. No, it's not the last one. That was like, oh, there might be maybe a secret backdoor. This time is they have been hacked and it's with the connector to DeFi apps. It may affect the entire EVM ecosystem, folks. This is not good. So maybe you shouldn't use Ledger until you get the patch, which they've actually issued, but hopefully you didn't lose your money with Ledger Nano. So essentially, decentralized applications pause Ledger Connect as exploit fix deployed. Ledger breach possibly affecting whole EVM ecosystem. And we have also, you know, what we know about the massive Ledger hack. And this is on multiple Ethereum based applications, including Zapper, SushiSwap, Phantom, Balancer, and Revoke.cash. They were compromised early Thursday due to a Ledger security breach. Very, very bad, folks. A lot of people use Ledger Nano. They say hardware wallets are safer, but maybe they're not. Ledger, the Paris-based crypto hardware wallet manufacturer, said it has fixed the malicious code as a 1335 UTC. So essentially, they have patched it. This is from Coindesk, but not in, in time for... Uh, for people to actually be saved um, from this hack because obviously people were exploited. We don't know how many decentralized apps were affected or fixed or how much money has been lost. People are saying upwards of $150,000 in crypto due to the sudden supply chain attack, which they have fixed, but it could have actually been a whole lot more. We know that these initial reports often underreport the amount that was siphoned. And they're saying, do not interact with any dApps until further notice with Sushi, Sushi Chief Technology Officer Master, uh, Matthew Lilly. But this is a Ledger Nano break. Hacks are common in crypto, obviously, especially in free in the free willing world of decentralized finance. Although I will say most of them have been bridges and not really the actual application where financial software is frequently deployed without the appropriate level of auditing and testing, as well as used by people without knowledge due to uh, proper due diligence. And let me remind you, many of those smart contracts are purposely written to have back doors because, well, people want to take advantage of other people and take their money. These are a stain on the industry and, of course, affect crypto's reputation, but it is a consequence of a decentralized, unregulated system, which, you know, most crypto advocates favor. Um, unfortunately, the Ledger Nano thing is just a failure in programming code or a failure in hardware. So, you know, like people are tweeting, most tweets about Ledger are wrong. Here's what you need to know. All active Ethereum wallets are at risk. Don't connect any Ethereum EVM wallets to any apps until further notice. Doesn't matter if it's Ledger or not. If you didn't use your wallet today, you are safe. So don't use your wallets. Don't connect to apps. And yeah, just lay off your Ledger for a while. Put the crack pipe down and go outside. And how big does this air gap have to be? Is it necessary to put something between my ledger and my computer? Should I put my ledger in the fridge? So your ledger hardware itself isn't compromised. It's the NPM lib. So just don't connect your ledger. Keep it air gapped for now. So no, you don't have to keep it in the fridge. Your hardware is fine, but it is the connector that is hacked. They always tell us not your keys, not your coins. But always forget to mention the second part. Your keys, still not your coins. So the thing is, yes, there is... A problem and they have patched it but people have lost money keep your hands off that ledger so ledger has since attributed the exploit to a phishing attack uh, on a former employee so it might be a former employee so inside job from a ledger not very good for their trust maybe people will start moving to Trezor or other systems how can you trust it after this I don't really know so Many of these dApps are temporarily enabled, but I think it probably affects all Ethereum dApps. Developers of NFT platform OpenSea said that users should not connect to any dApps using Ledger Connect until further notice. Probably not only limited to Ethereum, but to other platforms as well. Uh, the decentralized uh, protocol Lido stated its front ends have been switched off. So 
Everyone is blocking off Ledger Nano at this point because they have been compromised. Even though they've patched it, they need to make sure that everything is out because inside jobs are sometimes very hard to plug the holes with. A genuine version is being pushed to replace the malicious file now. Do not interact with any dApps for the moment. We'll keep you informed of the situation involved. Uh, it evolves. And this particular article says the, uh, from Cointelegraph says the attack has drained at least $484,000 in digital assets. So as you can see, each subsequent report is saying more and more has been drained in terms of digital assets. Definitely not a good look for a ledger. Uh, Tether, the issuer of Tether stablecoin, has since frozen the exploiter's address. According to Ledger developers, genuine version of Ledger Connect Kit is being propagated now automatically. They need to figure out who did this. If it's the employee, they need to send the legal ninjas after him and throw him in jail. Because this is another breach of trust. I think this has already damaged the crypto community enough. But we need to make sure that these guys are brought to justice. We need to make sure that Ledger pays for actually losing all this money if we can't get it back because this is the fault of Ledger. And obviously, they are giving updates to customers for Ledger Nano. I think this is a couple of hours ago. Um, Ledger Connect Kit Genuine Version 1.1.8 is now being propagated now automatically. We recommend waiting 24 hours until using the Ledger Connect Kit again. I would probably give it longer than that. The investigation continues. Here's the timeline of what we know about the exploit at this moment. This morning, CET, a former Ledger employee, fell victim to a phishing attack that gained access to their MPMJS account. So it's the employee, a former Ledger employee, fell victim to a phishing attack. But if it's a former Ledger employee, they shouldn't have had access to anything in the company. But, uh, you know, there might definitely be some kind of insider job. I'm not exactly sure. The attacker published a malicious version of Ledger Connect Kit. The malicious code used a rogue wallet connect project to reroute funds to the hacker wallet. Ledger's technology and security teams were alerted and a fix was deployed within 40 minutes of Ledger becoming aware. So they were very quick, but uh, still half a million dollars. The malicious file was alive for around five hours. However, we believe the window where funds to be drained was limited to a period of less than two hours. Ledger coordinated with Wallet Connect, who quickly disabled the rogue project. The genuine and sort of verified Ledger Connect version 1.1.8 is now propagating and is safe to use. Um, I, I suppose like the phishing attack on the former employee uh, kind of caused this. Seems a little weird to me, but you know, like I guess it could happen to anyone. For builders who are developing and interacting with Ledger Connect kit code. Uh, Connect Kit development team on NPM project are now read only and can't directly push the NPM package for safety reasons. We've internally rotated the secrets to publish on Ledger's GitHub. Developers, please check again that you're using the latest version. Ledger, along with Wallet Connect and our partners, have reported the bad actor's wallet address. The reg their address is now visible on chain analysis. So it wasn't the formal employee. Uh, that actually did this hack. It was someone trying to fish his ledger. We are actively talking with customers whose funds might have been affected and working proactively to help those individuals at this time. So hopefully they can get those funds back. Obviously a big, big breach of trust. And so definitely not something you want to see in the crypto world. This obviously, um, you know, is going to dampen people's trust, even in hardware wallets. Maybe stuff like this will make people go back to the exchanges. Not really sure if people will go for that. It's going to be, um, it's definitely go, uh, it's definitely going to be like, um, a hard climb for Ledger to get back some trust. Maybe people will switch to other hardware wallets, but right now Ledger is still not, uh, Ledger, Ledger really is still not good for use right now. So don't use it unless you want your funds stolen, which I presume you don't want to happen. But I think this has been the bigger, biggest Ledger hack that I've known of, even though it only lasted for two hours. Most of the other Ledger hacks were only, uh, were only really basically for certain information, not your bank account or anything, just like private information, but not financial information and did not steal your funds. This one actually stole your people's funds, so people need to be careful about this. Um, not really sure what Ledger's gonna do. Maybe they'll repay, maybe they won't. It is kind of their fault with Wallet Connect, so we'll see. It shouldn't be too bit big of a, like a financial hit for Ledger because it was only up for two hours. And like I said, the damage is probably like a million dollars, maybe a couple million dollars. Uh, we'll see what the final tally is. You know, they said a hundred something thousand and then they said like 484. So it's continuing to actually go up and they said at least that much. So I expect it to be significantly more than that. 
but since they replaced the file, the damage should be contained at this point. Not really sure if you guys are gonna continue using Ledger, switch to another system or whatever, but that just goes to show you, even hardware wallets are definitely not foolproof in this market, and there are ways to actually infiltrate them, if only for short amounts of time. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button. Thank you, and have a nice day.